Hey beauts, welcome to Pretty Scary. This should have been day 11, but it's day 12 because my editing software was being a cockwomble. So here is today's, and it's an angel. Stay watching. <laughs> So I'm going to attempt to get the I'm pissed off with my technology tone out of my voice and start telling you how to turn yourself into this beautiful angel who has behaved more like a devil when it comes to editing her. Anyway, snazaroo clown white all over the face, neck and chest. Just stipple and blend it on. You do not want it in a really, really opaque layer. You want a nice translucent layer and paint it under your eyes to cover up those eye bags because you're so knackered from trying to sort out your stupid technology. <sighs> I will get over it eventually. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, I've also got a cough just to add insult to injury. So I'm just powdering the look with some Laura Mercier Secret Powder, which is white. Full disclosure, here is my first attempt at the angel makeup which went very badly wrong and I had to refilm. That should have been my first clue that this angel was going to be more of a devil than an angel. I've had problems with it from the start. Anyway, moving on. I'm going in with some purple eyeshadow and I'm starting just to carve out my features with this. So around the nose, on the crease of the chin and at the corners of the mouth. And then I'm going in with some really, really strong pink blusher by Barry M. I want this angel to look really kind of pink and glowy and beautiful. So yeah, anyway. So I put loads of layers of the blusher on and then I just blended it in and also up onto the temples. And then I used the purple that I used on the nose, chin and mouth to carve out my cheekbones. Blended that also. If you're having trouble blending with a brush you can blend with your fingers because that can help to blend the colours into your skin. And then I use a really bright pink eyeshadow and just carved at the top of my nose going up into my brows. Blending as I went and then use that same pink to just contour the tip of my nose. Blending again and then use the purple just to deepen up that contour. Using that same purple again, I'm just using that to start carving out the crease of my eyes. Blending, obviously. And then going in with a really nice shimmery light blue on the lids. And I also used this slightly deeper blue next to it because I felt that this wasn't coming out quite as well as it could. Hey, what's that? Another problem with the angel makeup? Well, I never. Anyway, moving on. I'm not bitter at all. I used the purple underneath the eyes and blended that up around the edge of the corner of the eye. Let's give a nice kind of a halo effect. See what I did there? No pun intended. And then I went in with a deeper purple, this is one by Bourgeois, and I just deepened up that halo outer edge. Then I went in with Milk Pencil by NYX and I just whitened up my brows because I felt that angels would have some nice light coloured brows. I brushed that through. I do change this a bit later on because I felt the brows were too blanked out. Anyway, I went in with some black liquid liner and I lined the eyes but I didn't wing it. Although that would have been a nice pun as well, wouldn't it, for this angel? <laughs> now going on to a deep shimmery blue shadow by Urban Decay. I just deepened up underneath the eye. There's lots of shading with different tones here because you want to create a nice soft gradient of these different colours. I use blues and pinks and purples, you can use different shades if you prefer. So I'm just using that Jumbo Milk Pencil on underneath the brows as well and using it also to highlight certain areas of my face, like my nose. Then curl my very puny lashes and I realised when I was watching this back just how puny my lashes actually are, so let's stick some mascara on those puny lashes shall we. I will be putting false lashes on later on because, well. I need them, let's face it. 
Anyway, moving on with some NYX White Liquid Liner. I'm just painting on some freckles. Using that same liner to do the inner wing on my eyes because I thought it looked rather angelic. Then going in with a grey shadow by MAC, I decided that my brows need a little bit more defining like I mentioned earlier. So I just painted this along the lower part of the brows and just feathered it up. So I had a nice kind of gradient going from grey to white, which doesn't sound like it should work, but it actually does. I then went, went in with some glitter glue, both under the eyes and on the lids. And then I dabbed on this really pretty white iridescent Glitter by Stargazer. I then went in with a dotting tool. This is a nail art dotting tool and I used the one end to dot on some glue and I used the other end with some blue tack to pick up some little tiny diamante and stick them on those dots of glue. Both under the eyes and up onto the, onto the temples and I just wanted to do one above my top lip as well because I thought it looked rather cool. I then took a dusty pink lip liner and outlined my lips, slightly overlining but not too much. Slightly out of shot, sorry about that putting on those false lashes these are just some cheapy ones from home bargains for those of you not from the UK home bargains is a nice cheap and cheerful shop that sells everything you could possibly wish for I think probably Walmart or Target would be an American equivalent I'm not really sure anyway so I filled in my lips with a nice dusty pink with a little bit of shimmer in it and then I used that NYX Jumbo Pencil on the inner corners of my eyes just to highlight those a little more because I felt they were looking a little too stark with just that liquid liner. I then went back in with that Urban Decay Deep Sparkly Blue colour and I used that to create a nice gradient on the corners of my lips and around my lips. I do like to create an ombre effect on the lip, it is one of my favourite things to do as well as shading around my nose and shading around my hairline which I haven't done in this tutorial that makes a change I then carried on highlighting my face with that NYX jumbo pencil in white this created a nice base for my shimmer which you, you will see me putting on very shortly like I said earlier I just wanted Angel to look really glowy and pretty I think I achieved that even though she has been the bane of my life going in with Moonstone by Becca and just sweeping that highlight over those areas that I've just gone over with the milk jumbo pencil and you can see how it just really really brings that shimmer to the fore and makes it really really intense both because it sticks to the pencil and also because it's going on a lighter area so it shows up more I also use that Becca in the inner corners of my eyes and under my brows and then I shade it into the, in the centre of my lips, well shaded is the wrong term really, highlighted with that jumbo pencil and then went in with that same pink shadow from earlier and just softened that gradient of blue into the lipstick because I felt it was a little harsh. Then I patted on a little bit of glitter before curling my hair. I was quite fascinated to see the ridiculous faces that I pull when I am curling my hair quite sure what I was doing through half of this but hey I'm just curling kind of one inch sections it was really quick and easy I love these ceramic tongs they are the best I then took some little LED lights with a little battery pack to make my halo I just bought these online they were really cheap I actually taped the battery pack to the back of my neck with some surgical tape but I wouldn't recommend this, it wasn't the most comfortable. So as always I make the mistake so that you don't have to. I would recommend sewing it into the back of whatever costume you happen to be wearing. Once you have done that, just pin the little LED lights into your hair. I then kind of back comb my hair a little bit with my fingers and then pinned it up over those lights just to make it look a little bit fuller. I was actually really, really pleased with how this look turned out. It turned out really, really pretty. I just wish it had gone a little bit smoother, but we can't have everything, eh? 
I'm just glad it turned out well and hopefully it will help some of you out this Halloween if you want to go really really pretty as opposed to gory. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe. I do put my heart and soul into these videos and yeah, I work very hard for you all. So please subscribe and I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I love you.